G'day, welcome back. Here's some instructions on how to install a remote smart garage roller door. And we'll do a bit of a review in the process as well. So let's um, have a closer look. Okay, here's the unit. I purchased this off, off Amazon for around $40 Australian. Um, as you see, I've got it mounted to the top rail of the roller door opener. Now we've got three sets of wires coming in. This one is for our sensor, which I'll show you in a minute. This white one is our power, so it's USB power, takes about five volts. And this one is our remote, so that's what triggers it to open and close. So I'll have a look at the power side first. So here's my power, USB power. Because I'm an electrician, I was able to install a USB power point. You could, if you weren't an electrician, and what to make it easier, just get a maybe a, a double adapter, um, two forty volt power with USB already on it, and that way you can you can plug your your other door opener and plus the the smart opener. Now here's the two wires that actually trigger the door to open and close. So all we do is put them in with the, well, on this on this um, garage door, it's called the receiver. So that's just where a, a push button would go, for example. So this brand of roller door is a steel line. So depending what brand you've got, just look on the specifications or the, the manual for that, and just look where the remote button would go. Right. Now for the sensor, so I've got the wire running across the top of the rail, so it's out of the way of the track. And I've just clipped it to the garage wall here. And I've got it running down. Oh, where are we? Right up here. So that's, that's the one that the wires come off it, which, so that's always stay, stay steel. And that's the other, other side of the sensor, so it works by magnet when that magnet is broken a um, alert gets into your phone to say that the door is open or, or the door is closed I had to make a little bracket on the side just to get those in line okay now we've got all that connected now it's just a matter of um, pairing pairing it up with your Wi-Fi so you got to make sure everything's on your same Wi-Fi network and then just use your phone or iPad and then um, open up the Smart Life app, which is this one here. And you can see I've already had it connected to do some switches around the house. So what we do is we press plus, add device, and then we go down to, you should see a garage alt there. Here we go here. Garage door opener. Of course, this one's on Wi-Fi. That's one I did. That's one I did press Wi-Fi, and then it guides you through and shows you how to uh, connect it up, which is a pretty seamless and easy process. So once you've got that, then we just click on, click on that, opens up. So as you can say, you can see that's showing that the door is closed. It says closed. To open it, press the button. As you can see, it gives a reminder that the door has been opened. Hello, Will. Now, it depends on what you've got your alarm setting to, so you can set the, um, I've got the time out alarm at five minutes, so every five minutes it will give me an, an alert to say the door is open, so that's in case if you go out and forget to close it, um, you can close it from your, your phone wherever you are, so that's, that's pretty, pretty awesome. So now we'll close it up. Now 
we had it closed. So another feature is, so there we go, you give it an alert to say it's been closed. So the set, set password is for when you compare it up with Alexa or Google. So when you say, okay, Google, open garage door, then it will ask you for a password, which you say, and then the door will open. Um, and obviously that's for security reasons, so someone can't just walk past and say, hey Google, open door. So we'll give that a test. Okay Google, open garage door. Can I have your pin? Alright, opening the smart garage door opener. So once I give it my pin number, which I didn't say on camera of course, we have the door open. And also the alert. So there we go, for around $40, which is all it was, probably one of the best things I've bought for the home in a very long time. It uh, makes it very helpful for those days where you drive away and you're sort of thinking to yourself, did I close the door? Did I didn't close the door? Instead of doubling back, you just look at this, and that tells me the door's open. So then I just press that and close the door. Also great for the kids, instead of getting multiple garage door openers, I just install this app on um, my kids phone and when they come out from school they can just open up the door easily. So definitely a um, recommended product and pretty simple to install as well. So thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll catch you soon. Bye.